People frequently say of someone, I don't know where he gets his energy. He's going all the time. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have more energy than others? Why some people seem to get so much done in so short a time? Well, I think I've got the answer for you. The answer is desire. That's right. The amount of energy you use will always be in proportion to how much you want something. Now, Arnold Bennett put it this way. He wrote, Perhaps you've been hoping to create energy in yourself. Now, you cannot create energy, either in yourself or elsewhere. Nobody can. You can only set energy free, loosen it, transform it, direct it. An individual is born with a certain amount of energy, no more. And what is more important, you cannot put additional quantities into him. You may sometimes seem to be putting energy into him, but you are not. You are simply setting his original energy free, applying a match to the coal or fanning the fire. Now, some individuals appear to lack energy, when, as a fact, they're full of energy, which is merely dormant, waiting for the match or waiting for direction. The usual idea of the amount of energy possessed by an individual is the intensity of the desire of that individual. It is desire that uses energy. Strong desires generally betoken much energy, and they're definite desires. Without desire, energy is rendered futile. Nobody will consume energy in action unless he desires to perform the action, either for itself or as a means to a desired end. You must not confuse vague general aspirations with desire. A real desire is definite, concrete. The desire which indicates great energy is always there, worrying. It is an obsession. It is a nuisance. It is a whip or a scorpion. It has no mercy. As Arnold Bennett wrote, your energy can be measured by the degree of your desire for something. Now, a good example of this is when you're looking forward to an evening out. It can be a party, the theater, anything. But if it's something you want very much to do, you'll find, even after a hard day as you're dressed to go out, you're full of energy. Normally, you'd be ready for a deep chair in the paper or bed. So if you find yourself without energy all the time, or most of the time, particularly as it pertains to your work, it's time to re-evaluate what you're working for or toward. The teenager who can barely move through the house without collapsing into a chair, who walks as though he's coated with two inches of lead and who shambles off to school in the morning looking for all the world as though he might never make it, is a totally different person on the football field or the basketball court or when it comes to getting dressed for a date. Desire is the answer. Somehow, desire knows how to tap the reservoir of energy that is in each of us and withdraw enough for its satisfaction. The higher the desire, the more energy we will find we have. And if you want to be filled with energy, bubbling over with it, find something to work toward that's bigger than you are, that so fills you with challenge and interest, you're jealous of the sleep that takes you away from it. Goethe wrote, Energy will do anything that can be done in the world, and no talents, nor circumstances, no opportunities, will make a two-legged animal a man without it.